Welcome back, family. If you are tired of having dry hair days like these and want to find out how to lock in the most moisture, then you have clicked on the right video. All right, you guys. So as you all can see, my hair can really, really use some TLC, some tender, loving, and care because it is crazy dry. It is so, like, brittle. It's just... It needs some love, especially in this winter weather. It's really been harsh on my hair, so it's really time to give my hair the treatment that it needs. So today, I'm going to be showing you all what I use to really lock in that moisture so that I can prevent having times like this and so they do not come as often. So I'm going to be showing you all my routine from start to finish of how I do lock in moisture and what style I choose and which ones I tend to lean towards to actually get more moisture versus dryness. So first off, what I want to share is my routine. So I would co-wash or shampoo condition then deep condition so i still make sure to condition and deep condition whether i'm co-washing or shampooing because those two are really important and vital to locking in moisture today i'm going to be choosing the co-wash because my scalp does not really itch and i have a shampoo last week so i'm going to go ahead and co-wash this week the co-wash i'm going to be using is the as i am coconut co-wash i absolutely love this co-wash like it is my favorite it smells so good. It really leaves my hair very soft. And I like to use products that leave my hair soft whenever I decide to really go for my lock-in moisture routine. All right, and then for conditioning, I'm going to be using the Long and Luxe, or As I Am Long and Luxe line, their conditioner. This conditioner works really, really well when it comes to slip. Slip is so important whenever I'm looking for a conditioner because that really shows me that the product works well with my hair, is working it in, is moisturizing it. I look for moisturizing conditioners and I'll leave it on maybe about five minutes while I wash off my body and then I go ahead and rinse it out. And then for the deep conditioner, I'm going to be getting some more protein. So I'm going to use the Miel Organics Basu Mint and Basu Oil Mint Deep Conditioner. It's a protein deep conditioner. It leaves my strands so soft and moisturized. I am in love with it and my hair is so defined whenever I finish using it. So this is the three products that I'm going to be using for co-washing conditioning then deep conditioning whenever i put this on i put a plastic bag over my head and i get under the dryer for 30 minutes to really let that penetrate my strands and my scalp and whenever you feel this thing tingling in your hair that's when you know it's working because it does wonders trust me it's my favorite so that's the three steps that we're going to do once i finish that i'm going to come back and show you all how my hair really does look once i finish rinsing out that deep conditioner so stay tuned for that and i'll be right back right, guys so i just now got from under the dryer with this amazing deep conditioner in let's see what my hair looks like the conditioner is still in Oh, it feels so good, guys. Like, it really does feel amazing. And as you can see, my hair is so defined. It is so flipping soft. Like, this is ridiculous. All right, y'all. So, I've gone ahead and rinsed that out of my head. And this is what my hair is looking like so far. It is so defined and so soft. So after I rinse out my deep conditioner, I'm going to go into the styling process and to style my hair. For the leave-in conditioner, I'm going to be using the Myel Organics leave-in conditioner and this is the pomegranate and honey line. I choose to use this one because it's really thick but also very moisturizing to my hair. For the cream, I'm going to be using the same line but the Twisting Souffle. And this right here is really, really thick as well. To add some moisture or oil to the style, I'm going to be using the Sotanicals, and this is the Total Recoil Basu Butter. So this right here is really liquidy, but it, well, not really liquidy, but it's more like a, like, I'm going to show you. So I got a little bit on my hand, right? It's like an oil type of thing. Like, it's really moisturizing. Oh, my God. So I like to mix this with different butters or creams because that's like the sealant for my entire style. So I'm going to go in first and apply this leave-in conditioner thoroughly throughout my hair and just make sure that I work that in extremely well because this is the base 
for my moisture. So making sure you have a thick and moisturizing leave-in conditioner is so important for the rest of your style to maintain its moisture and be moisturized throughout the week. All right, and once I've parted that section I'm going to twist, I'm gonna go ahead and apply my cream to this section. As you can see, the cream is extremely thick and it's very, very moisturizing, guys. Like this cream is perfect for wanting to lock in moisture. It provides so much definition and so much shine. It makes the hair extremely soft. And you all can see right here how much it defined my hair. Then I'm gonna go ahead and flat twist all the way down to the bottom. Them. And just a side note, you don't particularly have to do this flat twist style. I just chose this style, but any style that you're actually tucking in your hair and is not adding extra weight or you're not having to manipulate your hair too much throughout the week, that will all help with locking in moisture and also tucking in those ends. So it doesn't have to be this style per se, but as long as it's the style that is actually locking in moisture, particularly a flat twist style of any kind. And also add more product if you need to towards the ends because we want to make sure that our ends stay healthy and do not split up the shaft. So right here is what I did. I went ahead and got some cream and then I mixed the butter in with the cream so that it became one and then I apply that to my hair. And as y'all can see, that combination works perfectly. The definition and the shine and the moisture was on a hundred, okay? This is what I love to do to lock in moisture. And then I'm gonna go ahead and twist that up just like I did the other piece. And y'all, the lovely parts of having thick hair <laughs> it's a struggle, but we wouldn't have it any other way, right? So I'm going to go ahead and twist that all the way down to the bottom like I did in the previous clip. All right, so then I'm gonna go ahead and tuck those ends underneath a different twist. Make sure that your entire end is tucked because that right there is what protects your hair from outside weather and everything of that nature. So we're gonna go ahead and fleek these edges real quick. Swoop, swoop, swish, swish. Just in any style that you like. It is not mandatory, of course. I just like to make sure that my edges are slayed whenever I'm doing a flat twist style for sure. And lastly, we're going to go ahead and tie it up with a satin scarf and then go to sleep that night and wake up the next morning. All right, curl friends. So it is the morning time and this is the final result of it. And I honestly really do like how it came out. I love this style because it really does lock in the moisture. I'm going to go ahead and show you all how, what it looks like so you all can see. But this style really does lock in moisture, guys. And it's great if you really want to get on a different routine to where your hair and your ends feel better. So I'm going to go ahead and spin and let you all see what this style looks like. Ends tucked away and hair moisturized. Oh yeah, and highlighter popping. <laughs> Recap 
have what I said works for a good routine so you actually lock in moisture. So first, it depends on what you're washing with, whether you're co-washing or shampooing. Choose whichever one, and then you want to follow up with a moisturizing conditioner, and then a moisturizing deep conditioner. And then I follow up with a thick leave-in conditioner, a thick cream, and then also like a butter or moisture aid, so that actually locks in that moisture as well. And so then I go ahead and twist my hair up like I did today, well, like I did yesterday, and then I tie it up, save my edges, wake up, and I'll wear it like this for maybe about a week. Um, that way, that gives my hair a break from all of the styles that it do or being exposed to the air. So that's basically my routine on how I lock in my moisture. And I really hope this did help you all. Let me know what other videos you all want me to video. But thank you so much for watching. And while you're here, go ahead and watch some of my other videos. And please always like, subscribe, and comment. Thank you so much, and I'll see you all on the next one. Mwah.